We're talking today with Gary Lando, realtor with Prudential Landis Home Sales Services, an instructor in the Real Estate Education Center here, and a member of the Board of Directors of the Reading Burks Association of Realtors. Gary, thank you for taking time with us today. Thanks, Dan. I wanted to check in. It seems like there's been some, some news recently about, uh, nationally, about uh, some, some positive signs in the housing market. What are you seeing here in Berks County? Well, Berks County is pretty unique as opposed to, to the nation. We've never really experienced the real high highs and the real low lows. Um, but the county is definitely on the upswing. There is definitely signs, statistics that point to the prices of the homes coming up. Um, the availability is greatly reduced. A lot of inventory is gone from the market, so it's it's good signs. Can you quantify that a little bit? What was the what was the bottom uh, um, in terms of price, and where are we now? 2011 to 2012, if we do August numbers, 2012 is up about ten thousand dollars. The average home price, which is a great, it doesn't normally move that much. Sometimes over month to month, you may see a thousand dollars if you see that. But year to year, to have, have it up ten thousand dollars from where we were is that's a that's a drastic increase. Now, what happens inside of those numbers is certain areas of the county are up. Certain areas are still are still lagging. What's what's up right now? What parts of the county? Um, if, and we like to break it into school districts. Okay. Honestly, it's the easiest way to do it. The Wilson School District, the Schuylkill Valley School District, Y Missing School District, Mifflin School District, they're all up. Traditionally, the most desirable school districts? The most districts desirable school districts. Um, frankly, there's not a lot of inventory. There's not a lot of homes out there. And it's exactly the opposite of what people think, that, it's, that there's a lot of homes on the market and there simply isn't. Um, one of the questions that, I, that we had emailed about was this idea that uh, prices are still low, even though they're coming up, and mortgage rates are are still at historic lows. Yes. Uh, what are you seeing in terms of in terms of buying activity? Is it um, well, the interest rates you would think in theory would have spurred a whole lot of more buyers into the market, and really what it's done is it's really helped the refinancing market. That's huge. Um, buyers, um, if you're qualified. It's great. It's a great tool to take advantage of. If you're not qualified, it almost doesn't matter what the rates are. So, um, Is it harder to get qualified these days? It's almost like it was years ago. And common sense says it should, should have been this way all along. If you have decent income, a good job, good work history, your credit's good, and you have some money in the bank for your down payment, there's no, there's no problems. Right, back to the fundamentals. Back to the fundament, back to the basics. Yeah, if you don't have, if you don't have a good work history and no money and your credit's um, not so great, you're not getting a mortgage. How, how is the inventory getting cleared out? Is it um, are are, are uh, flippers or investors getting into the market to, for rental properties or what's happening? You do see, and one of the, one of the things that came with the downturn in the market was more people saying, okay, it's a great opportunity for buy that second home to buy the investment property. So yeah, a lot have gotten into it. Um, flippers, yes. Investors, yes. For rentals, people building a portfolio. So you do see that. You do see that a lot. That has taken some inventory away. And just the fact that finally people were saying, with the rates, there's no time like the present to buy this, the people who are qualified. So once again, we go back to the little more desirable areas. That's where we saw the inventory drop. Last question, what's your uh, kind of assessment on where the economy is now locally? It, do, do you feel like we're, we're on the right track or are, are we still struggling to find our way? In the, in the real estate industry, I think we're on the right track. I mean, we all want it better. I mean, it, it really comes down to jobs, you know, and unfortunately our county's lost a lot of jobs. But um, there's more optimism. And I see that from the people I work with and the people I talk to. There seems to be more optimism. People are now at least asking the questions about, is it the right time to buy? Is it the right time to sell? Or a year ago, two years ago, they didn't even want to talk about it. I think we'll let that be the end of it. Thank you, Gary. Thanks, Dan. Sure.